Hey everyone, so I've never actually done anything like this before and I'm not the best at public speakers so this is pretty nerve-wracking but today I just wanted to take some time to talk to you about something that's very close to my heart and I could have just written something, I could have just put a picture on but I didn't feel like that would be enough or that would do it justice. Today is December the 1st and today is World AIDS Day. I believe that it's a day that everyone, not just those in the LGBT community, but everyone around the world should take a moment to look back. To look back at when the AIDS epidemic started, to see the sacrifices made, the enormous amount of lives lost, the families shattered and the suffering of those affected both directly and indirectly. Today we look back and we see how far things have come. We show our appreciation to those who fought tirelessly for fair treatment against prejudice and against persecution and those who worked immensely hard on the medication that's so readily available to many of us today. You know, we've got PrEP, PEP and of course antiretroviral therapy which works to make HIV undetectable and untransmittable. Unfortunately, there's one thing that no medication can do and that is to stop the stigma and this is why I believe we should be having some frank, open and honest discussions about HIV. I want to tell you a story. It's fairly long, but I'll try and be as quick as possible. Back in 2011, at the age of 24, I came out after years and years of knowing that I was gay. In fact, I think remembering back to when I was maybe 10 years old or younger, I knew who I was. I knew how I felt. I knew that I was gay but I didn't feel comfortable to come out until a bit later. Not long after I came out, I fell ill with what I thought, what I felt, and probably what seemed like from the outside, like a bad cold or maybe even the flu. It lasted about a week or so, and at the end of it, I was left with a big rash down my left arm. It kind of looked a bit like a meningitis rash. So I decided to go to the GP and, and just get it checked. When I went to the GP, I wasn't in there long before they rushed me off to hospital and I was admitted to A&E for the evening for tests. A week or so later, I was asked to go back to the hospital to get my results. So around nine years ago, none the wiser, 24 year old me set off on a journey that would turn out to be like no other. I remember sitting in a tiny room in the hospital in the infectious diseases clinic. I remember the smell of the room, I remember the temperature of the room and I was in there with a doctor and a student and I was asked this question have you ever been tested for HIV before? to which my answer was no I'd never been tested, I'd never thought about being tested, I'd never even considered it and at that moment my mind just kind of went into overdrive and I was wondering why I was asking this question, I was panicking and I was worrying Straight away, the doctor, looking fairly concerned, explained to me that during the tests that I had when I was admitted to hospital, they tested for HIV and the result had come back positive. Right at that second, it felt like my heart stopped. My whole world came crashing down around me. Time ground to a halt and the voice of the doctor was drowned out by one overwhelming thought that I had in my head. And it's a thought I remember extremely vividly to this day. I was thinking I was going to die. I was thinking that was the end of my life. This is it. And that was the only thought I had in that moment. The tears came and they carried on for quite a while. Eventually I was met by the hospital's HIV liaison officer who talked to me about the diagnosis, about what HIV was and about the treatment options. And guess what? It's not a death sentence. See, I basically had no education about HIV in school. And sex education wasn't that great either. But I remember the Tombstone advert. And I still remember the talk about AIDS in the playground at school. And I remember kids running around saying, don't touch that person, they've got AIDS. I remember all the jokes and I remember all the insults and I remember it all pretty clearly. But HIV cannot be passed on by touching someone or by kissing someone. 
and it definitely can't be passed on by playing TIG in the playground. And the thing is, I know that there's still stigma around HIV. It still exists. And to be honest, sometimes I still get scared to talk about it because of this. It's a hard thing to talk about, and sometimes I believe it's quite a hard thing to hear too. Nine years ago, I was diagnosed as being HIV positive. I had a viral load of over 193,000. And a few years later, I started on treatment. In November 2014, with a viral load of less than 40, I was told that I was undetectable. So the viral load went from, as I say, over 193,000 to less than 40. For those of you who don't know, being undetectable basically means that you have no chance of passing on HIV and the virus is classed as being untransmittable at that level. Since the start of the AIDS epidemic, over 75 million people worldwide have contracted HIV and a staggering 32.7 million people have died from AIDS related illnesses. As of last year, 38 million people across the world live with HIV and around 26 million receive treatment. So, so doing the maths, that means around 12 million people across the world don't or can't access treatment or it's not available. I'm extremely grateful to live somewhere where I have easy access to medication and fantastic doctors that ensure my virus is under control. Every day, I take one pill, this pill. And it keeps me alive. Not everyone is as lucky or as privileged as I am to live somewhere with such accessible and effective healthcare. So I hope that today you spare a thought for all of those people across the world who are or have been affected by HIV and AIDS. For those of you who don't know or are worried about your status, I urge you to get tested. It's simple, it's easy, it's a finger prick, it takes seconds. You can do it at home and you get your results within a few days. I know it's easy for me to say this, but don't worry about the result. My clinic number is 3145, but I'm not a number. I'm Matt, I'm 34 years old, and I'm HIV positive. Every day, I thank my doctors, my family, and my friends who've been there for me, supported me through the dark times and times when it felt like there was no hope. If this message reaches just one person who's scared, one person who's in the same place that I was nine years ago, who's been given a diagnosis that seems hopeless and feels like the end of the world, I promise you it isn't. I promise you, you'll get better. You're not alone and you are, and you will be loved regardless of your status. I want to encourage more of you out there to share your stories with friends, with family, with the world. Let's work together and let's fight the stigma around HIV.